Hello, here is Klaas Nienhuis and today I want to show you how to build a simple configurator with 3ds Max and Sketchfab and I'm using a tool called Options Options which I just built and demonstrate right now um, I have a Stormtrooper and I want to configure it I want to change the materials on the Stormtrooper and do it interactively and real-time 3D so let's get started I've downloaded the Stormtrooper model from, uh, from a website and I've split the model up in separate parts uh, helmet, body armor, arms and the stuff in between and um, this is necessary if you want to configure a separate part so if I want to configure just the body armor uh, the model needs to be separated in order to do that uh, I guess that makes sense um, I've cleared all the materials so there are no materials applied and um, we're going to add some materials to make the stormtrooper look good first so let's get started we only work with standard materials at the moment uh, this might be changed in the future So here we are, nice looking stormtrooper. Notice that I've given names to the materials and these names don't have spaces or other characters, just letters. Uh, watch out if you create a new material and apply this. The material contains a hash and a space and this will break the configurator. So uh, always give your materials proper names. So now I've got a nice looking Stormtrooper, but I want to configure the color of the helmet and I'm going to do this uh, by setting up my model and materials in such a way that the configurator is generated automatically and to do this uh, I'm going to use multi sub object materials so here we go a multi sub object material I'm going to give this the name of the option group so I'm going to call it helmet color no spaces and I want to have four color options and I'm going to give these color options names because when you're on a website and you want to configure stuff you have to pick from a list with names so they can't be empty and these are the names which are going to be used so these are black and white okay and then uh, pink and a line to avoid naming conflicts uh, I'm going to use uh, these materials here but I'm going to avoid using the same materials as, uh, as uh, um, the same material name so I've got black and white in my helmet and the stormtrooper generally is black and white but I'm I have named these white trooper and the other one black trooper to avoid naming conflicts. Um, pink, well, whatever this name doesn't really matter. Let's make a pink color. I like brightish pink here. And let's add it here. And uh, lime, 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 where is it? Is this lime? Somewhere here. Okay, now I'm applying this material to the helmet. And of course nothing changes because... Uh, oh, and I'm making a mistake here because the first material is actually white. Let's swap this. Let's start with the black helmet. Does this look weird? Well, we're going to configure it. Um, well, we're done. I'm going to save my work and open the Options Options tool. Here we go. And in general, this works uh, uh, very much the same like uploading stuff to Sketchfab. You have a scene, you put in the name, and then you publish. 
The objects are being saved, exported, and uploaded to your Sketchfab account. Um, if you haven't authorized yet, the script will ask you in on the fly to authorize uh, uh, uploading to your account. Uh, but I already did that, so I'm not asked again. Let's open the original model. So, well, let's uh, let's open the model on Sketchfab first. Let's have a look. Okay, well, this is what I had. Uh, that's nice. Um, I'm going to publish my model. I will. Uh, I need to do this because um, otherwise I can't uh, expose uh, the model to the configurator. Okay, so where is my configurator? 3ds Max built this for you. Let's open it. There we are. I've got a little website here, a footer, and more importantly, I've got here an option group with four options, black, white, pink, line. Well, let's pick pink, and nothing changes. Why doesn't change? Ch doesn't the model change? It's because it has to be set up in PBR. All the materials which are being exported are converted to PBR materials and this means you also need to set your model up to use PBR lighting. And you can do this by going into the model, changing the, the settings, but uh, you can also do it from within the script. You can apply PBR settings to the Sketchfab model. It uses this model ID and this is the model ID of the model I just uploaded, so well, that's convenient. And we're done. The model has been patched. I'm calling it patched. Well, you can call it what you want. So let's go to the configurator again, refresh the page, and here we are. The environment has changed a little bit, uh, but I can also see my materials. And here's the moment of tru truth. Let's pick the pink helmet, and voila. There we go. Line. And for the original feeling, a white Stormtrooper helmet. Well, that's it. From 3ds Max to an interactive 3D configurator in under 10 minutes. Okay, well, have fun.